Hey, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jared from Three Seas Recreation, and today we're gonna install a brand new plow on a brand new CF Moto Z Force 800 trail. If you've been looking around wanting to buy a plow for your side by side, maybe this video will be helpful for you to know exactly what to do. I think after watching it, you'll be able to do it on your own. So if you find this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button. Until then, let's get into the, the plow and we'll show you exactly what we got. So today we have three pieces. You're gonna get the plow blade, the push tube, and the mount. So what we'll do now is we'll break these boxes open and I'll show you exactly what comes with it. All right, so I just cut all the boxes open and I'll show you exactly what you're gonna get with each piece. So with the plow blade itself, you're gonna get the hardware for the plow shoes. We're gonna mount this bracket here and the plow shoe is gonna slide up in and you can set your depth of the plow shoe by if you stack the washers on the bottom or the top. The next box is this is your push tube and this comes with all the hardware to mount the push tube to the blade. This is the bracket that we're going to use to raise and lower. Uh, your winch is what's going to control this. You've got your trip springs so if you catch something in the driveway. And then the last piece is the pins. This connects the push tube to the mount. Once we have the mount on the side by side we'll line it up, put this in, and we'll put the cotter pin in. And then the last piece that you get is your uh, push or your uh, mount. This is going to mount directly to the bottom of the side by side like this and this is the appropriate hardware for that. So three different boxes and um, you have to order each one individually. These two are pretty standard from KFI between the plow and the push tube but the mounts are going to be what's going to be more universal for each machine. This one's built directly to go with the Z-Force um, 5 and 800 model. So. The first thing we'll do is we'll give you guys a video on how to put the plow shoes on. Okay, so for the plow shoes, they want this this uh, notch on this mount to be at the bottom of the plow. So it's gonna sit just like this. And you're gonna see two different lengths of bolts in the kit for the KFI. Um, and I always use the shorter bolt on the top because if you look how this is tapered, we wanna use a shorter bolt up on the top, longer bolt in the back. Um, and you want to bring the bolts in from the top. So what I use is our open end wrench and I sneak the, the, the nut on there like that and I slide it in and we just tighten it down and then we use the one in the back and we'll do it again with the nut. That way I'm not trying to reach in there with my hands to let the wrench do the job for me. So we'll get these tightened down next. Okay, now that we got our mount bolted down tight, now we can just put our plow shoe in and on the directions, what they always want us to do for a starter is uh, one washer, both of the thicker rubber uh, grommets, another washer. So you slide this in and then we're gonna stack all the remaining washers on the top to keep it from getting floppy. And then we just slide our pin in. And so that's the plow shoe. I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then we'll stand this blade up and we'll get it attached to the mount. All right, so both of our plow shoes are now on and I went ahead and I stood this blade up and I've attached uh, one side of the mount to the blade and it's just gonna be the carriage bolt that's gonna come through this way. It's gonna have a tapered washer and the taper's there and you wanna put this on the inside because as this carriage washer comes through, it might stick into it a little bit and, and this will fill that, it'll let it slide in there deeper. And then after that, on the outside, we're gonna put the washer and then just the nut and that's exactly what you can see here so i'll go ahead and get this other side put on as well and then i'm also going to mount this directly to here there's uh holes in the in the push tube here and then we've got um the bolts and the the nuts that go along with that so i'm going to finish this and i'll get this mounted and then we'll come back and do the the trip springs okay we've got the other mounting bolt put on for the push tube we installed our winch bracket that's going to raise and lower the push tube and I just put one in here as an example. So this is our, our trip spring. It's gonna go in the, the hole here. And then up top, we have the eye bolt that we used with a nut and a washer on the bottom and then a nut and a washer on top. And this is the second one right here that I'll do on this side. And once I have both of these installed, we then set, this is gonna be the nut that determines the angle of our blade when it's on the machine. So as I would push out on this, you can kind of see those holes opening there. And I'm going to set the depth of that 
with this. So like if we're like, okay, I think like right there is gonna be a good angle for this machine. We're gonna set that and I'll put the nut on the back side, and then that way the blade can't tip back any farther. Uh, and the, the springs are gonna keep the tension on it. So that's what we'll get installed next, and we'll come back to uh, do the mount on the bottom of the Z-Force. Okay, at this point, we have our trip springs fully set. We've got our adjuster um, bolt that's gonna determine the tip, you know, the angle of the blade. We've got it mounted to the push tube. Um, we've got our pins left over that are, we're gonna use to mount. And then the last thing I forgot to mention on this is all the side-by-side -side plows come with the cool uh, flap that goes on the top of the blade. This is super simple to install. We'll do it last. It comes with a metal rod and then the bolts in that bag there. So you just kind of lay it up here, line it up, put the bolts in. So we'll do that last, but now we're going to do the mount for you. Okay, so now we got to install the mount. And keep in mind that every brand is going to be a little bit different. This is a CF Moto and this is a Sport Z Force model. And so to do this plow mount, I'm going to take this winch fair lead and I'm going to bring it off, loosen it up. And these two bolts are going to sneak up in behind that. And we'll reinstall the fair lead. And then coming down from this lower frame bar, we're just going to hang these U bolts right here. So this one's super simple. It's um, loosen these two bolts, set it up there put them back in and two u-bolts in the back so i'll go ahead and install this now and then we'll come back to it and i'll show you guys how to hook the push tube up to the mount okay so that was pretty easy we just pulled these two bolts out slid this up put it back in it came with longer bolts obviously because of the thickness of this metal put those back in didn't really get them all that tight that way this could fluctuate and move around a little bit and we got our two U-bolts installed in the bottom and we, we tighten them evenly. So now we got the mount on the machine. We got the push tube done. And also while I was away, I, I installed our flap on the top. Like I said, this was super simple. It just has this metal bracket and these, these carriage bolts that come up through and they just kind of go all the way down through the top there. So this is installed, mounts on, and now it's a literally super simple for us. All we're gonna do, I'm going to set you guys down so I can use both hands here. We're just going to pick this up and line it up. You might have to pull the machine forward or back a little bit. Okay, so that side's in. And then we just take our cotter pin, put it in. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side there. That's now on, and then it's super simple from here. We've got the winch from the machine. We're gonna let out on the winch. And we'll take it. Now I need to go a little bit more with it here. And ah, a little bit more. We'll hook it onto the, to the spot that's designed for it. And at home I would take this off, but because the customer is gonna take it, I wanna leave that on there for them. And at this point, all we're gonna do is run it in. You can see with the KFIs how high you can pick up and not come in contact with the front of the machine. And that's purely because it's a front mount plow. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please subscribe to our channel. We do a lot with Beta, CF Moto, LS Tractors, Aaron's Gravely. Again, we're 3Cs Recreation. And um, thanks for watching.